Hello everyone, Stephen Clark and friends here. Back with news highlights from Thailand and Southeast Asia. China invades the Philippines territory while nobody's looking and too busy with the coronavirus to notice. Coronavirus lockdown leaves migrant workers stranded in Thailand. The Thai government will not allow Thai airlines to collapse. 20,000 plus Russians are stranded in Thailand by the coronavirus. An abandoned baby girl in northern Thailand. But first up, what's China been doing to help the Philippines with the Chinese Wuhan coronavirus outbreak? The Chinese Communist Party has decided to invade the Philippines territory. While the rest of the world is busy with the Chinese mainland export of the coronavirus, they have decided to build islands on top of reefs on Philippines territory and claim it as Chinese territory. China has been trying to convince the rest of the world that it has not been involved or responsible for the coronavirus or COVID-19 if you like, which has caused a lot of deaths and economical mayhem around the world. But the Chinese Communist Party has portrayed China as a great country and a pillow of society. While the Philippines struggles with the coronavirus, Chinese Communist Party has been helping out by building two new bases off the coast of the Philippines on submerged reefs or research facilities as they tend to classify them as. Yes, while the Philippines is busy with the coronavirus, they've been building two new reefs off the West Philippine Sea. Yes, the Chinese Communist government are building two new research facilities, Kaganigan Reef and Zamora Reef both claimed by the Philippines, which is in the Philippines Maritime Territory. In 2016, China's reclaiming of territories in the West Philippine Seas, a permanent court of arbitration ruled that the Chinese Communist Party's activities in the West Philippine Sea was illegal. Wow, that didn't stop them. Now China has stated these uh, New islands they're building are only for research purposes and to help with the environment and they will concentrate on ocean acidity, microplastic pollution, coral reef ecosystem development and research, coral reef ecosystem conservation and marine disaster treatment, which they said about the first islands they built on reefs and now they are military bases with missiles and all sorts of juicy things on them. And now, the Philippines can look down the barrel of a Chinese Communist Party's gun, courtesy of the Chinese Communist Party, who own all of the South China Sea, according to the Chinese Communist Party, but not to the rest of Asia, and, well, in fact, the rest of the world. The coronavirus lockdown leaves migrant workers stranded in Thailand. Bangkok's shutdown fuels mass exodus of migrants, but those left behind worry about survival as factories close. According to the International Organization for Migrants, Thailand was home to as many as 5 million migrant workers from neighboring countries like Myanmar and Cambodia and many other Asian countries. But now that the government has tightened up its borders, some migrants left behind have been forced to accept consequences of their decision to remain in the capital Bangkok. Migrant workers are vulnerable during the migration process, according to the International Organization for Migrants. And even more so, those who migrate irregularly as they are at risk of exploitation because of their uncertain legal status. Across the border in Myanmar, officials have voiced their concern about the virus, but insist the situation is under control. It is uncertain what measures Myanmar is taking to repatriate its citizens, but the authorities have set up quarantine zones and are reportedly instructing those arriving to self-quarantine for 14 days. For its part, Cambodia has encouraged its migrant workers not to return, but the appeal did little to prevent thousands from heading to the borders as Bangkok was closing down. Temperatures were being 
being taken at the border, monitoring of those entering Cambodia. But of the tens of thousands of Cambodian migrants returning, only 35 were tested, according to officials. Migrant workers are unable to work as they plan. Their lives are made more difficult now and are living in fear. While Bangkok is reliant on migrant workers, from construction to hospitality, factories and household keeping, the Thai government has offered little support. The Thai government will not allow Thai airlines to collapse. Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand, Sumkid, said the government will not allow alien flag carrier Thai Airways International to collapse and dismissed rumours of pending layoffs as a result of the coronavirus. All rumours about the layoffs aren't true. News involving Thai Airways that didn't come from the financial minister should be considered false, the Deputy Prime Minister said. Thai Airways has been a financial basket case for the past decade as successful governments pour money into its legacy airline to keep it afloat. Thai Airways employs about 20,000 staff. An offshoot company, Wingspan, offering aviation-related services, has 4,900 working on its payroll. Some kids say the government will be ready to help the national airline while insisting that the airline won't lay off employees. He again urged the Thai Airways Board to come up with a business plan which would allow the company to grow and expand after the crisis. The Deputy Prime Minister said the Financial Ministry needs to see a proposal which clearly outlines how Thai Airways plans to review its management structure and business strategies so it can remain competitive in the aviation market once the pandemic subsides. Thai Airways has temporarily suspended all international services except for charters and cargo flights until May the 31st. Thai Smile, the national Korea's budget offshoot, has taken over domestic services to Chiang Mai, Phuket and Krabi in smaller aircraft. Thai Airways is a great company and a great airline and it would be very sad to see them go under. But at a time when Thailand's entire economy and budget are under massive strain and ordinary people undergoing extraordinary hardships, why is it a priority to save an already failing airline that serves few ties? Where is the logic? Stranded in the land of smiles, nearly 21,000 Russians struggling to get back home. The Russian ambassador to Thailand claims there is about 20,800 Russian citizens stranded in Thailand. Thailand's ambassador Tonkin said they are desperate to get home. He said that most of them are stuck in Phuket and neighboring provinces. Phuket is in virtual lockdown with the airport being closed to all passengers. There are around 8,000 in and around Pattaya. 5,000 around Bangkok and Hoi Hin has 4,400. In and around Kasamui, another 2,500 scattered around the country. The ambassador said we have received some 20,800 requests from our citizens who have found themselves in this situation. Less than half of them are those who have tickets to cancel the flights by third country's air companies. According to the ambassador, there was about 70,000 Russians in Thailand by early March, and about 40,000 of them were package tours vacationers who came here by charter flights from various Russian cities. When the coronavirus situation became worse, most of them returned home. According to Aeroflot reports, Thai Airways, which cancelled all of its international flights, has begun to direct its tickets to the Russian air companies. About 50 people have left Thailand this way. The ambassador said some of our nationals who had no return ticket but who are trying to buy them are in a risk group since the duration of their stay in Thailand may be no longer than their visa period. I hope our diplomatic mission will be able to help such people within days. The Thai side will extend the terms of their stay in the country for 30 days. They keep saying that it will be a one-time extension to give people time to resolve the problem with their return to Russia. We hope that a large part of our compatriots will be able to return to Russia within weeks, the ambassador stated. Sounds like a terrible situation the Russians are in in Thailand. Let's hope it can be resolved quickly. A newborn baby girl abandoned in Thailand. A drunken man discovers abandoned baby girl in northern Thailand. The Thai society has historically had a problem with abandonment of children. Abandonment stems from many problems, including undesired pregnancies, out of wedlock, family problems and more. 
The newborn baby girl was found inside a grilled pork stand in northern Thailand, Chiang Mai province. The abandoned newborn baby girl was discovered by a drunk man in one of the soys, or street if you like in English. The newborn was found wrapped in a red towel and was quickly taken to the Chiang Mai hospital. The baby girl was found to be in good health, the hospital staff told the media. Police officers from the local police station said there were no witnesses to the baby girl being abandoned. They are checking CCTV footage from the area to try and identify the child's mother.